Here's an interesting fact for you. In Suffolk, there are more pigs than people. Yes. And you know what pigs mean, don't you? They mean pork and bacon and gammon and ham. Oh, I love ham. And here at Emmett's in Peasen Hall, they still make the famous Suffolk black ham. Let's go and have a look. Believed to be over 170 years old, Suffolk black is a traditional curing recipe. And according to local legend, was first made at this very shop. Salting and smoking have been a way of preserving pork for centuries, but they also give the meat a salty and smoky flavour. To counter this, sweet flavourings are added to balance the taste. Mark Thomas is going to show me how to make a Suffolk black ham the old-fashioned way. Hi, nice to meet you. How do you? Welcome. What a fabulous shop. Thank you. You've never been here before? No. We've been it's here. Just, I just want to eat everything I can see. <laughs> no, we've been here since 1820. We make ham and bacon. You've been here since 1820. Well, I've lost a bit of hair at that time, as you can see. Yeah, yeah aging very well. Thank what you. a fantastic room you've got there. Thank you. This is my bacon showroom. You have a car showroom, so I thought I'd put in a bacon showroom. It's just fabulous. And in there you have uh, sides of, of our, our black cure, which we're famous for. Oh, the smell is just. Uh, oh. Our sides of mild cure. So, sorry, what have you got in here? You have some black cured back bacon. Yeah. Which we marinated in beer, molasses, and natural brown sugar. Yeah. And then we smoke them. A bacon showroom. <laughs> Everyone should have one. Well, I think everything looks very good behind glass, so maybe I should go in there myself. Yeah. Bit, yeah. <laughs> it looks great, but I'm not here for the bacon. It's Suffolk black ham I want to see. Um, can we, can we, can we smoke a black ham? You can come smoke, you can come taste whatever <laughs> Can you like buy one, one at a time and smoke them? Why not? <laughs> come through. <laughs> The back of your shop is almost as attractive as the, as the shop itself. Well, it's a bit like uh, a business, a bit like a duck. You see the body, but not always the feet. Yeah. So this is where the feet exist, so to speak. Oh, is this your smokehouse? These, these are the smokehouses, and yeah. this, is, this is one of my, my fridges. So this is the first part of the process. That's correct. These are, these are some sides of, of, of fre total fresh pork. Yeah. And, and this is you curing them with salt and herbs, really? Correct. Totally, totally natural. So natural uh, Cornish sea salt, yeah. some fennel seed, some black pepper, some celery seeds, <clears throat> excuse me, and a little bit of brown sugar. Yeah. And depending on the cut of the meat, they're in here for seven days up to 12 days. And what does curing actually do? <clears throat> What's happening here is the, the salt is getting into the meat. Yeah. It's taking the moisture out. <clears throat> so it no longer even looks like raw meat, does it? It's, it's starting to turn colour now. So the salt's drawing the water out and the, being, and the salt's going in and replacing yes. the water? Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. Smells good as well. Mmm, this smells smell good. I can smell fennel. And then from here, having made a marinade, we then put them into the, um, into the marinade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're famous for. It, it, we make it out of uh, local black porter beer, yeah. molasses and natural brown sugar. And once the marinade is cooled down, we then put the meat in here. Oh. How long do they stay in there? Up to six weeks. Right. And obviously That's quite a long time, isn't it? But it, it, it's quite a big piece of meat, and during the time, the, the, the taste, the colour and the flavour is getting into the, into the meat. Yeah. And after you've, after you've marinated them, is that when you smoke them? Yes. Brilliant. So they're cured. They're cured. They're marinated. Marinated. And then they're smoked. And then they're smoked. And then they're and cooked. And then they're cooked. Then they're cooked. So it's a four four way process. I mean, it, you know, I have a side of bacon as well. I actually think it looks quite sexy. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mmm, hot stuff. But not quite hot enough yet. Onwards. So here's the smoker. You've got two smokers. We have here. two. Yeah, this is the original one. Yeah. Uh, the one this was built in the 1970s and sort of roughly falling apart. <laughs> and this one was built in uh, 1820. Was it? Yeah. Still the original. We still use it as well. It's a great, great smokehouse. And what kind of sawdust do you use? It's predominantly oak. Yeah. And then we light it with, with some straw. And then when we shut the door, that's it. It, it just smolder yeah. for two or three days. Two or three days. It's a very ancient looking thing, isn't it? A smokehouse. It hasn't been cleaned. We, we sweep out the floor occasionally yeah. and, and also replace the roof here with some corrugated cardboard, yeah. which, which acts as an insulator. Well, can we light it? Yeah, why not? We want to go in? Yeah. I've got some matches. <clears throat> the tradition of hanging meat and smoking it goes all the way back to cavemen. Yes, it really does. 
long before refrigerators and chemical preservatives, wood smoke was used to extend the shelf life of meat and enhance its flavour. <laughs> I can't really oh, see anymore. Come out there, yeah. And I think it's time to come out. <coughs> ah, your house is on fire. Let's shut the door there. <laughs> After curing, marinating and smoking, it's time for the last part of the process, cooking. Mark uses a boil-proof, not quite so traditional plastic bag to stop the joint from drying out. This way, all the lovely flavours and juices stay inside the meat. It's the cooking that turns this pork joint into a mouth-watering traditional Suffolk black ham. Now, how long does that take to boil now, then? Um, these, 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 they never boil, they, they, they simmer. So yeah. we have it uh, set at 80 degrees. Yeah. And this will be about uh, six hours. Lid on. So the, the amount of process that's gone into this ham is about uh, three days curing. Yes. Uh, about six, six weeks six in, in, marinade. In, in, in the marinade. Yeah. But three days smoking. Three days smoking. <laughs> and then about seven hours cooking. Seven hours cooking. And then a week or two weeks eating. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a ten week procedure. I think I can do it in quicker than that. <laughs> <laughs> but talking of eating, should we go and try some? Love to. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, fingers. Delicious. It's worth seven or eight weeks' wait, isn't it? <laughs> it's good. It's so moist. A little bit of chutney on the side, that's all you need. That was absolutely delicious, and I have to say, you can, you can taste everything that's happened to it. It's really complex, isn't it? Well, thank you, Mark. Pleasure. Nice to meet I've you. Really got to grips with understanding the four-way process that happens to make that ham. Yep. And I appreciate it, and I'm, I'm really glad you're still doing it. Thank you very much. What would you call that? Showroom of... Ba bacon showroom. Yeah, bacon showroom. You've got a Rolls-Royce showroom in Barclay Square, you have a bacon showroom yeah. in Pizanol. Brilliant.